What up folks, my name's Alex, you're watching Mr. Alex Tech, and this is 5 Minute Friday. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply a really quick, really easy, but super effective background blur effect to make your on-screen text really pop. So, let's open DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are in Resolve, I'm on the Edit tab, and I've already got my timeline set up with this stock footage of this subway train. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add some text. So we're going to open up the effects library. We're going to go to titles, text, and just drag that onto our timeline just above the video. And we'll lengthen that out a little bit. So we're just going to give it a click on the timeline to highlight it. And then we're going to open the inspector. We're going to head into the rich text here and we're just going to enter what we want. So I'm just going to go for Mr. Alex Tech for now. Now that doesn't look too bad, but there's a few things I want to change. So first of all, obviously the background is still in focus, so it's still a little bit distracting from the text. And also the text just comes in a little bit abruptly, like so, it just pops in. So for the text, the easiest thing to do is just give it a click on the timeline. You get these little markers at the start and the end of the text, these little white markers here. If we just click and drag in, we can actually just fade the text in slowly. So I'm going to go to 0 0.20 and the same at the beginning. And now if we hit play the text slowly fades in, which looks a lot nicer. But now we just need to add some blur underneath it. So the first thing to do, move your text up a track so it's out the way, and then head back into your effects library, go to the toolbox, effects, and then grab an adjustment clip, and put it on your timeline in between the text and the footage. Drag that out to be the same length. Now it needs to go there because we want the blur to affect just the stock footage or your own footage and not the text itself. Now that obviously won't do anything because we've not added anything to the adjustment clip. So straight back into the effects library, open, open effects. You want to grab the Gaussian blur and we're going to drag that onto the adjustment clip. Now straight away you can see that that's had an effect and it's blurred the background for us, which just makes the text stand out a little bit. But again, like the text, it's a little bit abrupt. Now you could do the fade in like so, but I find it fades to black just a little bit, which I find to be a little bit distracting. So what we're gonna do is just fix this using some keyframes. So give the adjustment clip a click. Again, with the inspector still open, you should see video and then open effects at the top. So click on open effects, and you should hopefully see the properties for the Gaussian blur. Now the first thing we're gonna change is this border type. If you look at the footage here, you can see there's a bit of a black border going around the outside. So we're just gonna fix that by changing the border type from black to reflect. And that fixes that nice and easy. And now we're gonna add some keyframes and we're gonna mess with the strength. So what we need to do, comes to the very beginning of the clip. Click on one of these diamonds here to add a keyframe. And then we're gonna reduce the Gaussian blur to nothing. So there's no blur going on whatsoever. Now we're going to drag our playhead up into the point where the text has fully come in. So about there. So it lines up with this fade right here. And this is the point where we want our background to be fully blurred. So it's going to fade out in the same way that the text is fading in. So then just grab the slider here on the horizontal or vertical strength. They are grouped together. If you want to adjust them individually, just untick this box like so. I'm going to leave that ticked. And um, we'll drag it up. I'm going to go for about 0.6, like so. Then we're going to drag our playhead towards the end, and we're going to do the opposite. So it comes to the point where the text starts to fade out. Just click on one of these keyframes again to add a keyframe. You don't want to change any properties at this point. You just want to add a keyframe there. And then go right to the very end, and we're just going to drag that right down to zero. So now when we hit play, the text fades in, while the background slowly fades to blur. And at the end, the text will fade out while the blur slowly goes away. Way, And that's it, folks. Really, really useful, works really well, and can really help that text pop. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comments or feedback down below. And if you're new here and you enjoyed the video, maybe hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.